welcome to cinematic conversations another great episode with an amazing motivational speaker nanjia uh, thank you nanjia for joining me uh, for this conversation pleasure you've been meeting people from diverse backgrounds how do you build common ground what is that you have learned and what is that you will advise people like us on making such relationships work a common thread that can kind of binds everything together is that smart people uh, love to work with other smart people and uh, irrespective of where you are in the world this is a thread that is common the question really becomes and how do we work with smart people and that is where the gold is and i predominantly found kind of three things three principles that if you abide by uh, working with other smart people become very easy uh, i think the first thing has to purely do with your ability to add value right the type of uh, problems you're willing to handle the type of problems you're trying or willing to solve um, and uh, the tenacity and the curiosity that goes along with the attitude needed to solve problems uh, just like how uh, you know rewards bind us together problems bind us together there as well and some of the common problems we find in this part of the world you will also find it in different parts of the world so if you approach uh, uh different organizations or different problems with that tenacity and curiosity you're able to create value the second thing that can kind of binds uh smart people together is just clarity right now i've worked with some really smart teams in the world uh, and they are the best at making complex uh equations uh simple without diluting the context uh or the nature of it right and that's art in itself and that's how smart people work together and the third part and probably most important one is the speed at which you make the right decisions um and uh smart people always want to kind of move at a certain rate move at a certain pace and they are very accustomed to course correction so even if you take a wrong decision they understand the principle of course correction and then you tweak it so that you arrive at the destination but that speed and agility which you make the decision to get the ball rolling is another principle that really allows uh, you know cross cultural collaboration wonderful so danishia just to summarize it in a in my own way you say that when people work across different cultures the fundamental assumption is they are all smart and if everyone believes the other person is equally smart as him or her then most of the problems will get solved and we apply the three principles of how the smart people will work together absolutely the fundamental assumptions about other cultures and the prejudices coming out of these assumptions in my view is no longer there in a flat world like this absolutely how can the smart workers keep themselves motivated fundamentally the top 1% of any any performance category right um they have they come to work with a deep sense of responsibility and it's it's something that uh, is not as abundant as we think right so responsibility or being responsible for work is not about just submitting something uh for a deadline or a on time submission of sorts right when somebody has deep responsibility there is a level of immersion in their work that reflects in their output right so it's not just for the sake of doing it and deeply responsible people the reward in itself is the work and what i encourage a lot of teams that i work with to do is find the meaning in the work that you do see the big picture right how does this impact uh, not only you not only your team but how does it impact the customer how does it impact the organization how does it impact the society at large right and feel proud about having a place in doing that type of work so when you have that sense of purpose right the conversations or the little motivational things they become secondary and the engagement in the work becomes the first kind of primary uh, involvement uh, for them i think uh, responsible people by themselves are self motivated and they are more they look forward to every day and not just one day where they have to celebrate a great milestone i think 100%. Yeah, i 100%. think you said it beautifully thank you so much i get this question all the time and i just give a smile and i don't know how to answer so i'm coming to you for that <laughs> <laughs> my own colleagues as well as uh, our uh, customers etc customers they ask me 
Srimati, how is it to work with Sri Lankans? What is special about them? Okay. Uh, so, Tanajya, tell us, what makes a Sri Lankan special? If I could describe uh, working in Sri Lanka, working with Sri Lankans um, in through three, three characteristics. They would be number one, just we're an emotionally intelligent group, right? Uh, if you look at you know, the Sri Lankan culture, we're very high on the sensitivity scale. And it's easy to work with us because some things that are hard to say, you don't have to say. We'll read it and we'll know it. So the conversations are much simpler. The conversations are less painful and we have this ability to simply get it, right? So we're very emotionally sensitive uh, as, as a culture. Uh, I think the second part is that we have a um, lot of pride in being agile and nimble, right? Uh, if you look at kind of how we've pivoted and how we've sometimes taken complete U-turns throughout the history of Sri Lanka, right? Uh, which not nece which necessarily hasn't been a rosy picture from the time transition to independence to how where we are now. We've been we've pivoted so many times and in those pivots we found pockets of success avenues of success and uh, really uh, persevered right through incredible odds so you, you see this nimbleness and um, agility that's kind of surrounded by the sense of perseverance and the third uh, probably is the whole concept of the, us being the island of ingenuity, right? And um, if you kind of look at our history, history, which is about, you know, 3,500 years old, you can see different points in history. We've, uh, you know, have had a tremendous amount of innovation and ingenuity has, that has gone into many, uh, many fields and many industries even today, right? So I think if you bring those three things together, um, I think we are very emotionally sensitive, we are persevering and, uh, you know, we can imagine and, and you know, uh, innovate things that uh, for the size of the population we have in Sri Lanka, you won't find anywhere in the world. Wonderful. Actually, Dhanja, I have not heard anyone help me summarize this so well. So, uh, I think now I would know which one to pick up and have genuine conversation in the coming years, uh, whether it is own in sale management or potential customers or people from other cultures. What you brought also are three characteristics which will not make someone form their own opinions based on stereotyping um, and say, hey, you know, it's, it's, it's a tiny island. It's not a country. Uh, it's a country. It's an island culture. Oh, people love life, you know, I mean, these are all the one-liners that I that we get. Uh, but uh, the way we talked about perseverance, the ingenuity yeah. and, you know, emotional intelligence, which is like yeah. really, really so important um, yeah. in the knowledge industry. I think you just brought all the three points uh, yeah. amazing. I always like to say that uh, we, we may be tiny, but we are mighty. You're mighty. Absolutely, <laughs> Dhanajay. Pleasure uh, talking to you through the Cinematic Journey uh, platform and looking forward to many more. Thank, Thank you. you for having me, Shri Pleasure.